Let's write several equivalent fractions for 6 ninths. That's 6 over 9. And what we're really trying to do here, we're trying to find another fraction that has the same value but different denominators and numerators. So we could multiply 6 by 9 over 1. It would still be the same value. But instead of 1, let's multiply by 2 over 2. 2 divided by 2, that's still 1. So we're not going to change the value. But 2 times 6 is 12. 2 times 9 is 18. And now we have an equivalent fraction to 6 ninths. 12 over 18. If you divided 6 by 9 or 12 by 18, you'd end up with 0 0.6. And that number 6 would repeat. So it's the same value, just different numerator and denominator. Let's do another one. How about 3 over 3? Again, 3 divided by 3 is 1. We're not changing the value. 3 times 6 is 18. 3 times 9 is 27. And that is equal to 0 0.6. It's an equivalent fraction to 6 ninths. There's one more thing we could do. We can divide 3 into 6 and 9. And it'll give us an even number. 6 divided by 3, that's 2. And then 9 divided by 3. 3 times 3 is 9. So 3. And again, 2 thirds, equivalent fraction to 6 ninths. If you divide 2 by 3, you get 0 0.6. That number repeats. So it's an equivalent fraction. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.